Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cargo. I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today, we're going back to the classic good old boys of knights and all the augments that we can throw on them, but with a different color combination. But before we do, we go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we very much love you for it. And the link will be down below. Uh, today, we are going through Garden Crusade. So it's a green-white deck where we're using some of the new pretty powerful green cards to complement all the knights and augments. And of course, our champion for this has to be Liam, Trader of Knights. Uh, when you destroy an opponent's tower, you may add one gear from your deck to your hand, which is silly. Once per turn, discard one gear from your hand. Target unit gets plus 500 this turn. And there's so many gears out there that you could just dump and get back anyway. And 500 is an extra level of damage that people have to deal with. Yeah, this dude does a lot for knights, like way more than you think. Just because if you have the gears for him, he just gets ridiculous. You're yeah. just like, hey, no, thanks. And you will want you to kill a tower. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. Now, of course, we have to do uh, Kite the Air Spirit. Once per turn during your turn, discard one card, return the target air unit you control to its owner's hand. And if you do, switch one of your exhausted shards to active. So if they try to kill one of your, your one drop that's super powerful, then you bounce it. And Soul Burst, return target, you know, total cost three or less from to the owner's hand. So that's even your opponent. So if they have a Guardian that they left behind, you can bounce it by just Soul Bursting, which is actually pretty powerful. Yeah. The first creature we got out of the deck is Forger of the Fallen Leaf. She is a one drop 1000 and units you control with power that is double or more their original power cannot be targeted by your opponent's spells or abilities. Whenever a the unit is put into play under your control, you may pay X. If you do, put X plus 500 counters on that unit. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, the fact that it's pretty easy just to double your dude's power, and then the fact that you can't be targeted by spells or abilities, your opponent's control, which is kind of kind of rare in Argent Saga, as you can see our brawls, but and then also all your small dudes are bigger. Yeah. If you needed, if, you're swinging and attacking, you don't care about bluffing uh, any spells or anything. Yeah, late game you get to make all your dudes really, really big with her ability. Just be like, ah, oh, this one drop, I'm gonna pay five and she's big. Yeah. Or your augments help your dudes get double their power. So you're like, cool, don't target me. Like, thank you. Thanks. And of course to help with that is a one drop uh, brawler, a warrior of soul. So as I said, it's a one drop 500. It has brawler. So if you make it bigger and kill a dude really quick, it's- Yeah, you can late game. Pretty nice. Uh, next is the Corum Rampart. It is two for a 1,000. This unit gets plus 500 for each gear equipped to it. And so it automatically helps itself get bigger to stay until you can't target it. Yep. And then it can just attack whatever. Yeah, just whatever it cares to. And the next, of course, is Red Rose Knight. It's a two drop 1,000 Guardian. When this card uses Guardian, you may add target gear from your discard zone to your hand, which is ridiculous. And then, because <clears throat> with Guardian, you activate it, and before damage, you can just discard it to Liam to make this bigger, to mm -hmm. kill the dude. And then when this card is equipped with the gear, units adjacent to it gets plus 500 and Guardian. So again, she helps make your dudes bigger so they stay out of damage, or yeah. stay, stay out of spell range. Ridiculous. Uh, next is the Black Rose Knight. He has three for a 1500 Brawler. And arrive, you may to equip target gear from a unit you control to this card. When this card is equipped with the gear, you may... When this card or unit adjacent attacks, you may draw a card, then discard a card. Yep. He's a little iffy to just throw out there and be like, oh, what does this do? But he really works out. He sure. does a lot for you, yeah. Yeah. And of course, if you're running green, you have to run this card. It's Great Hawk of Cloud C. It's a three drop, 1500. Arrive, if you if there's a destroyed air tower, you, you can exhaust target unit, return another target unit to its owner's hand. And if you have two of them, then you just keep going back and yeah, forth. Yeah, the bird is silly. It does so much for you. Yeah, especially with Kite bouncing it as well. Oh yeah. And then the final res or the final creature of the deck is the White Rose Knight. He is a four drop 2000. He's got a Rive. You choose one for each knight you control up to three. You search your deck for a gear and add it to your hand. Equip target gear from your discard to this card or switch target knight unit to active. Yep. So you want to swing first when you, before you play this dude and then you do extra value. And then swing again after that. All right, we'll get into the augments here. It's a Ketsu the Living Armor. It's number one good boy. Yeah. It's a one drop gear. Uh, equipped to target unit, any damage it would be take is reduced by 500 instead, so it helps save your guy. But when one of your light units attacks, you may equip this card to a discard zone, from the discard zone to the unit, and it can all, there's only a unit can only have one of these on it, which makes perfect sense because it's broken. But yeah, discard it, make your dude bigger, swing, attach it. Hey, you can't really block or kill it. It's pretty gross. 
Uh, next is the Shard Sword Nova. It is one instant cast. As additional cost to play this card, discard one gear or sacrifice one gear you control. Destroy target unit with cost three or less. Yep. This card is insane with the card we just mentioned because you're like, cool, pay one, kill this gear that I get back. Yep. And kill your dude. And swing. Basically kill your... Because it's always not fun to be like, you're almost dead, but that last tower is a white tower. Yeah. This kills the guardian. And yeah. And you just swing in. The next one is standard uh, shard sword. It's a one drop equipped tar target unit. Gets plus 500 and target attack. Because you just need to kill some dudes sometimes. Uh, next is the brilliant averter. It is two for a spell. If this is the second card you played this turn, this card costs one less to play. Which probably will happen. And then look at the top four of your deck. You may add a unit and or an augment from among them into your hand. Place the rest in the bottom in any order. So this literally just helps you get either the things you want, which is augments or units. Because yeah. that's all our deck really is. Yeah. Yeah. And you, it helps you. You get two cards for essentially one, one yeah, mana. Yeah, because it's and or and that's kind of what's broken. Oh yeah. Of course we have to have this Omega Magic Hikari. It's a two drop insta cast. Uh, put one uh, night unit in play with Guardian. It's a 1000. But if you have two or less towers remaining, put two tokens instead, which will can overthrow a game really quick. Yeah, because it just gives them extra power. Because those dudes can attack, so that's what makes it so strong. Yeah. Uh, next is Caliber, the Sh Sacred Shard Sword. It is two for an augment. Uh, it gets plus 1000. Sacrifice this card. The turn the equip unit cannot be targeted by spells or abilities. Draw one card. And you can only have one equipped but since it gives plus 1000 it automatically makes 1000s not be targeted by spells or abilities if you have the green girl in yeah. play which is kind of broken pretty good and yeah it's pretty strong oh yeah and if you just equip it straight to her i'm pretty sure she triggers herself mm -hmm. so there you go shining uh, shard dagger it's one of the most uh underused but awesome ones it's two drop augment gear Equip to target unit gets plus 500 and quickness because quickness is one of the strongest abilities in Argent Saga. I yeah, do believe. it definitely is. This card is busted. Like this is one of the best augments to go get always. Yeah, all. If you always want to have one in your hand, just because you can be like, cool, play this dude. It gets equipped. Thanks. Thanks and swing for game. Yeah. All right. As always, uh, for the shards, we have the Spirit Ruby. It's a legendary shard. You tap, flip your spirit face down, destroy target unit. Just always a get out of jail free card kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Next up is the Zephyr Crystal. If your spirit is an error, this card is into play exhausted, but it is, so we don't care. Yeah. Uh, exhaust, pay two, destroy target augment. So it just helps if you're playing against your own, if you're playing against the other white decks. Yeah, exactly. And especially the maze deck for sure. Yeah. But and the rest are just the normal origin shards. Uh, with that, uh, that is the deck. It seems super solid. We've had plenty of uh, night decks, but we don't know which one's the best one. So yeah. we'll, we'll keep. Knights are so strong just because they get to do so much extra value with yeah, their stuff. Exactly, especially with Liam at the yeah. helm of their charge, pretty much. But with that, the deck list will be down below. But hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel. And then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Uh, thank you, Dwayne Higgs. And thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.